Hello and welcome to today's episode on 3D drawing for your model railway. Today we're going to look at using the revolve tool and spline points to create a drawing of a uh, train wheel. So let's get started with a creating a sketch. We're going to draw it on that base there. Okay, uh, we're going to get a line. We're going to draw a line up uh, by 3.6 millimeters. Okay, the next thing I want to do is get another line. And I'm going to draw it out there slightly, 0.6, slightly angled downwards. Uh, I'm going to go for. At four degrees and I'm going to define the height from there to that point as 3.05 millimeters. I'm going to get another line, I'm going to draw it up here, it'll be in line with the top point there, uh, about, yeah, that looks about good to me, and then I'm going to get a tangent arc I'm going to go from that point around there so we form the top of the wheel and then the tread and that's the flange and we're going to draw another line I mean downwards you can see this little on here I'm getting two little um, coincident marks this one up here is the looks like squares 90 degrees to that line and this one I'm getting here is now perfectly vertical which is what I'm going to be looking for um, I'm going to have that as 0 0.3 millimeters down okay it looks good and move that over to this side out of the way get another line on the bottom here and we're going to define that as 0 0.5 millimeters and I'll move that down and then I'm going to get another spline so we're going to start on a spline here. A spline basically allows us to draw a curved line. Um, so we're going to click on that, start at the bottom. We're going to draw up slightly. And then we're going to put a little bit of a curve in. And like that. Click on OK. Now what we've got here is a little bit of a curve going on all the way up. And I actually want this bottom bit to be straight okay so what we've got these little handles here control the curve so the position of that handle tells you what the line is going to do and you can move them in and out as well okay and then what I'm going to do is I want it to be perfectly vertical so I'm going to move it close to vertical and then I'm going to come up here to the coincidence horizontal vertical and I'm going to snap on that point spline and it's going to snap that to vertical so I know now that, that line is going to be straight up there okay and I'm going to come off there I'm going to go back into editing that line I'm going to move this one slightly Ooh, uh, zoom out let's see what we're doing what we've got going on here so I'm going to move that over slightly so I'm grabbing the point that I've drawn now and I'm now moving it over slightly okay you can see it goes up vertically there and it starts to curve and gets stronger towards the edge of the rim here okay and the next thing I want to do is lock all these in position um, now you can't dimension them as you would normally so to lock them you select them and then click fix unfix you see the color changes to green it won't then move I'll do the same here, fix that one and that one. So they're not now going to be moved, they're all locked into position, same as if we were to normally dimension them. Okay, okay so that's half of the wheel drawn. So the next thing we're going to do is finish the sketch and then we're going to revolve this to make it look actually like a, a wheel. So we're going to go create and then revolve, select the profile and the axis we're going to then select is this line here because we want it to revolve around that line. And you can see that it's the angle is done 360 and created a new body so we've now got our wheel shape okay and the next one i'm going to do you can either leave it like that or you could put the axle across what i'm going to do 
is draw that axle. So I'm coming onto the back face here, center point circle, select and center. I'm going to have my axle at 1.5 millimeters. Uh, and then I'm going to extrude. I'm going to do a two sided extrude. I come this way by four millimeters. And I'm going to extrude the other way by two millimeters. I'm going to tell it to join and click on OK. The next thing I'm going to do is just add a little bit more detailing on this rim here. So I'm going to use the fillet tool. So I'm going to now grab a little arrow. I'm going to pull it outwards. And you can see that it then starts to put a curve outwards on there. I'm looking for something that looks reasonably good, something like that. And click on OK. So we've now got a wheel. You could use, I wouldn't use this for any of my rolling stuff because when you printed this, it won't ever be strong enough. Um, but it's good for things like scenery. If you've got a depot scene, you may want to have a few axles lying around. Um, maybe you could put them as wagon loads or in a scrapyard, something like that. Um, one last tool I'm going to show you how to do here is obviously we've only got half the wheel here. It's how do we get the other side? Well, we could do what we've done previously and copy and then paste on the other side. Or we can go to create, mirror, change the type to bodies, the object, we're going to select the whole wheel. And then the mirror plane here, we're going to select this face here, click on OK, and then we've got a, a wheel. Okay. Um, nice and simple little tutorial there. I hope you've enjoyed that. Um, if you've got any questions, please leave a comment. Otherwise, please like and subscribe. Thanks for watching.